Welcome to the reflection on the 33rd Sunday of the year. The theme is Only the one who takes no risk is condemned. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, Jesus told his disciples this parable. A man going on a journey called his servants and entrusted to them his property. To one he gave five talents, to another two, to another one, to each according to his ability. Then he went away. He who had received the five talents went at once and traded with them, and he made five talents more. So also he who had the two talents made two talents more. But he who had received the one talent went and dug in the ground and hid his master's money. Now after a long time, the master of those servants came and settled accounts with them. And he who had received the five talents came forward, bringing five talents more, saying, Master, You delivered to me five talents. Here I have made five talents more. His master said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a little. I will set you over much. Enter into the joy of your master. And he also who had the two talents came forward saying, Master, you delivered to me two talents. Here I have made two talents more. His master said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a little. I will set you over much. Enter into the joy of your master. He also who had received the one talent came forward saying, Master, I knew you to be a hard man, reaping where you did not sow and gathering where you did not winnow. So I was afraid and went and hid your talent in the ground. Here you have what is yours. But his master answered him, You wicked and slothful servant, you knew that I reap where I have not sowed and gather where I have not winnowed. Then you ought to have invested my money with the bankers, and at my coming I should have received what was my own with interest. So take the talent from him, and give it to him who has the ten talents. For to everyone who has will more be given, and he will have abundance. But from him who has not, even what he has shall be taken away. And cast the worthless servant into your outer darkness, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The servants are the members of the Christian communities. Jesus gave us his gospel, his message of salvation, baptism, the Eucharist, and all the sacraments. The power to heal, to console, is love for the poor, for the suffering. The talents correspond to the various ministries exercised in our communities. The Christian community grows, develops, brings about transformation in the world where its Lord is no longer visibly present. It is up to the followers of Jesus to act in such a way that what the Lord has entrusted to them will produce abundant fruit. But how? Each one must take responsibility for some part of his wealth and strive to make it yield the fruit. In proportion to our ability, all of us must undertake a ministry within the community. Some service to our brothers and sisters. Who is the main character in this parable? It is the third servant. The one who is scared. His master's 
reproaches are the main teaching. The only unacceptable behavior is to do nothing. The master did not intend to give a lesson on honesty. Theft or moral life, he was concerned with one thing. How serious it was for a person not to do his bit for the community at large. What about the servant who was afraid? Is it possible to be afraid of Jesus? Unfortunately, many Christians are for some reason afraid of God and of Christ, his Son. This comes from a wrong understanding of the Bible. There are those who see God as a kind of policeman controlling traffic and punishing anybody who breaks the law. If we think of God like this, we will end up like the third servant of the parable. All we will be concerned about is avoiding mortal sin. We will never risk anything new. Out of fear of making mistakes, maybe everything did not go so well with the first two servants, but the only one condemned was the one who took no risks. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord of our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with faithfulness the author of all that is good, through Christ our Lord. Amen.